Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will share my personal journey with open source and how open source contributions changed my life. Not just that, towards the end of this video, I will also show you if you want to contribute to open source, how to identify the right project depending upon your skills and interests. So this video is going to be very interesting. Please try to watch it till the end. So I have 10 years of experience in the IT industry. I'm currently working as a principal software engineer with Red Hat, which is the leading open source company in the world. And I got this opportunity to work with Red Hat because of my previous open source contributions. So I'm also going to share what are those open source contributions? Which open source projects was I working on before joining Red Hat? How did that lead to the employment with Red Hat? But before all this, let me start from absolute beginning of my journey. I'm from a electronics and communications background from a tier three college, but I was always interested working in IT. So I joined Tata Consultancy Services back in 2014. And I joined the Tata Consultancy Services, TCS, as a Java developer. I worked on Java development for one year. Then I switched to DevOps and Cloud. Overall, I worked for two and a half years in TCS. After working for two and a half years, I decided to switch to a product-based company. And I worked in that product based company in the DevOps and Python role for one and a half year. So the first four years of my career, I worked in a service based company and a product based company, but nothing related to open source. To be bluntly honest, I did not even know how to contribute to open source in the first four years of my career, but things changed for me when I decided to switch again and join a company called F5 Networks. This is where I stepped into the world of open source. It happened accidentally, but fortunately everything happened good for me. When I joined this company, so a little bit about F5 Networks, uh, they have a enterprise load balancer called as Big IP, which is a very popular load balancing solution. So I joined this company to work on that product, but when I joined, they did not have any opportunities in the DevOps and Python space. They recruited me, but they did not have any projects. So they asked me along with one other colleague to search for projects in Go language and they shared list of projects and they asked us to learn Golang as well. Out of the list of projects that they have shared, there was one project that was started by the US colleagues and it was an open source project. They open sourced it, but they scrapped it because they did not have the capacity. This is in 2018 I was talking about and the project that they have written and open sourced is a Kubernetes ingress controller. So it sounded very interesting because some colleagues, US colleagues in FI have written an ingress controller. Even today, the ingress controller is available and it is most widely used. So we looked at that project. Nobody was contributing to it. It is scrapped. And we said, okay, we did not know Golang, but given an opportunity, we want to continue it because we were experts in Kubernetes and we already started learning Go language and quite interested in the space because 2018, Ingress controllers were almost new. Uh, Nginx Ingress controller and there were a couple of other Ingress controllers, but they were all not in the mature state as it is today. So we started working on this uh, project. We took like three months to understand the project because we were new to Golang and uh, Kubernetes Ingress itself was a very evolving space during that time. And I started as a member of that open source project, did a very small open source contribution. I'll try to put it here. That was my 
first open source contribution complete first time not in that particular project but it was my first open source contribution ever and i started contributing to it for the next two and a half years i did the open source contributions from member i became approver reviewer maintainer and by the time i left fi networks i was the admin of that project admin is the highest level that uh, you can participate in an open source uh, open source project but how did i receive opportunity with red hat so what happened when we started actively maintaining the project we also started promoting the project in the cncf as well as kubernetes customer space this project is an ingress controller so quite obviously every customer that is using kubernetes openshift rancher or any distribution of kubernetes they need an ingress controller so the project got very good visibility it got open source contributions from outside companies individuals at one point we also had good contributions coming from google so because of this visibility quite obviously the maintainers of the project will also get the visibility when the project becomes popular the maintainers admins they also start getting the visibility that is when microsoft and red hat approach me so i started giving interview with red hat i got offer from red hat then i got offer from microsoft i decided to join red hat because i was interested in open source i was contributing to it from last 3 years and i was really enjoying it red hat being the leading open source company they said they have an opportunity where they are looking for someone and the role will be to contribute to gitops specifically argo cd i said i would love it and i joined the company i put the offer with microsoft down and i have been working for, with red hat from last 3 and 1/2 years where i am contributing to argo cd argo cd operator argo rollouts uh, manager and different other open source projects so this is the entire journey where i started from tcs 10 years back and right now i am working with red hat i believe if i was not contributing to open source i would have not ended up uh, with red hat and of course because of this entire transition my salary everything went significantly high i started with tcs from 3 lakhs per annum and right now i think i will be in top 1% software engineers if you look at the packages in india so i would give this credit to open source and luckily i started my open source journey but i have decided to stick with it and from last 6 years i have actively contributing to various open source projects so this is my journey now let's see if someone is interested in contributing to the open source how can they find the right open source project to start with now i am going to show depending upon your skills and interest how can you find the open source project let's say you want to contribute to the monitoring space you are very interested in monitoring what you can simply do is just go to this url called https github.com slash search slash advanced in the advanced search section just write whatever you are interested in let's say monitoring and uh, select the programming language that you are interested in uh, let's say go language is the programming that i am interested in and just click on the search button you will see all the popular monitoring projects written in the go programming language you can also do it by not using this advanced search but the advantage that you get with advanced search is not just about monitoring and the programming language you can also select other things for example how popular open source project do you want to contribute do you want the project to have any required number of stars do you want the project to have any required number of folks do you want a specific licensing type for the project but if you are an absolute beginner i would recommend just search 
for these two keywords what is the skill that you are looking for and what is the programming language once you find out these options for example the output for this is prometheus falcon scope and a monitorer project from monitorer let's say i want to go to prometheus now you can spend time on this project understand the project understand the code base of the project rather than just going to the good first time issues and contributing to the documentation i would highly recommend before you start contributing spend at least 10 15 days understanding the project thoroughly understanding the code base of the project and only then start contributing to the project if you want more information about identifying the projects how to contribute to the open source the right way i already have a video i'll put the link in the description you can follow that and you can identify the project so this is the video for today i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching it see you all in the next one bye bye